Hello everyone and welcome to Silent Hunter 4 Trigger Maru Overhaul 2.5 So I stopped playing uh, Silent Hunter Fall of the Rising Sun because Fall of the Rising Sun um, well there's nothing particularly wrong with Fall of the Rising Sun but Trigger Maru Overhaul uh, and some people's contention gets you as close to World War II as you can get. And it forces you, or, it's, or well it doesn't force you, but it, if you really want to get the full experience of uh, realism, this mod, Trigger Maru Overhaul, is really designed for, uh, for realistic style of play. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to start Pacific submarine campaign and we will start off as Captain Barrel Roll because that's awesome uh, December 8th 1941 is fine let's go with Asiatic Fleet we'll probably change to Midway at some point although playing as the sugar boat could be fun I don't think I want to do it so instead, we're going to go with Sargo class, which I think is the best submarine you can get at the beginning. USS Swordfish. Manila in the Philippines. New Libya, the December 8, 1941. Gentlemen, as you already know, we are at war. I quote the President of the United States. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The attack has effectively eliminated our entire battleship force for the time being. As a consolation, it has failed to catch any of our aircraft carriers in port, while the submarines and fuel reserves have escaped unharmed. During the battle, <coughs> the Japanese military was engaged in a seemingly endless war against China, badly needing oil and other raw material. Since we halted the trade with Japan, they schemed to seize the oil and mineral-rich East Indies and Southeast Asia. A Japanese attack into the Indies, Malaya, and the Philippines was expected, and plans prepared for it. But obviously, we have not prepared enough for an attack of this magnitude. The attack against Malaya has materialized yesterday, and last night the Japanese forces also attacked Hong Kong, Guam, the Philippines, and Wake Island. This morning, the Japanese continued with an attack on Midway. The Japanese offensive is extending throughout the Pacific, with a submarine force left mostly to itself. We need to act accordingly. For the time being, we will conduct operations as follows. Boats based in Pearl Harbor will patrol in Japanese home waters and also reconnoitre the Marshall Islands, as it's presumed that Japanese forces are massing in that archipelago for a second attack on our base. Manila-based boats will deploy to guard the vital island of Luzon against approach by enemy forces. Individual patrol orders will be received from your commander. Okay. I am Captain Barrel Roll of the Cap of the USS Swordfish. Okay, so I think my boat can do two hundred or tw nine knots underwater, which is what I'm primarily looking for. Is there anything I really? There's nothing I necessarily need from here. There is no improved SD. Yeah, you only get air search radar. No surface search radar at this point in the war. And all we have is Mark 14 and Mark 10 torpedoes. And although Mark 10 are more reliable, they're slower and they cannot go nearly as far and they carry a smaller warhead. And Mark 14s are horrible, but they're what we gotta use. Okay, so. Go ahead and start the mission. 
to Captain Barrel Roll. Depart on December 9th. Your submarine will take on board 33 tons of vital supplies needed by friendly troops in Formosa. Formosa. You will provide transportation of said supplies to the destination and make arrangements for delivery by inflatable raft. Supply drop in Formosa. So I'm here. Gotta go there. We're gonna start dock to tender. Man, if you only knew how many times I had to re-record this thing just because of some screw-ups. This game is pretty buggy, and it's exceptionally buggy if you're playing with fraps. Okay. Let's draw a little doohickey. That away. Yes, Later. Wouldn't want to stay here. Hmm. Is this? Is this? Yes, this must be the type of submarine I'm wanted. Although we can very easily check that. Yes, sir. Periscope down. Yes, sir. Periscope down. Just enough to sink our sub. Oh, there's so much stuff I have to check to make sure everything goes right. This sub's a little bit different than uh, than I'm used to. Generally, I play the Gato, but I do believe this sub can do nine knots at flank speed underwater. So we'll kick it up to flank speed. If we can get nine knots, I got the right sub. Yep, nine knots. We're screaming, man. We're going about as fast as a cruising cargo ship. Maybe slightly slower. But the point is, we're definitely going fast enough to escape from enemy escorts. Okay, that's good. And I think the test depth on this thing is 200 feet. There we go. Uh, okay, let's continue with our mission. Uh, for the time being, I've gotten in too many fights 
up here, trying to change history. Um, and it just doesn't like it when I try and change history. So for this game, I'm going to try and not change history. Can I even get in there? That is a weird place. I shouldn't even follow that. That's ridiculous. So is that. So is that. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll just use time compression. Of course, uh, <laughs> whoops, forgot to set it for standard speed, we're going flank there. Gotta get there really fast. So one of the things I've noticed is that if I get involved in fights in anywhere in this area with any of the invading ships, the Japanese invading ships, they're invading this island, and basically the Manila base, um, they're all broken. <laughs> like, the destroyers, if you, like, get in fights with destroyers, might happen here, but hopefully won't. Um, the destroyers are all whack. But, so, just try and, like, you can't, like, sink them or anything. It's pretty ridiculous. So, right now we have a, uh, airplane that picked up on radar. Major advantage of US subs was that they could detect incoming airplanes. I could dive right now, but I'm not gonna. What I usually do for airplanes is I just speed up time. And then that happens. I'm just going to set this to maintain current order to set for default. Yes, and then I crash dive. Crash dive. If they get spotted. Yes, and most of the time it's a tactic that uh, works. Unless they get close. And this guy's 35,000 feet out, so we have plenty of time to crash dive. At 290. 20 degrees to the right. Yes, sir. New course. Two, zero. Yes, sir. New course. Two, zero. Other than that, I think about that. That's kind of silly. I should just stay on course. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to drown. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> no. So this is my standard tactic for attack or for incoming airplanes is that crash dive. I'm pretty sure at 120 feet, like nothing can get you. So I wait until 120 feet. And then I pull the engine back to standard. This allows me to not waste uh, battery power. What? Are you crazy? What on earth made you think that I did? You're a nut. So we just pass the thermal layer. That's where the sonar bounces off. 
for the most part. I'm spending way too much time looking at this. <laughs> hey, there she is again. It's like the only girls you get to look at for like months. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for 10 minutes. Oh, we're going to return the course too. And then we surface. Okay, continuing on. Okay, another airplane, same tactic. Speed up, time compression. Yeah, he dodged us. Oops. That's some weird water. Yes, sir. Crash right, okay, yesterday, December 7th, 1948, date which will live in infamy. Blah, blah, blah. The United States was at peace with the nation. Sorta. Of. Blah, blah. Indeed, one hour after Japan. Uh, American Islands of Oahu, Japanese ambassador to the United States and his colleagues delivered to our Secretary of State a form of reply to the recent American message. And while this reply stated that it seemed useless to continue the existing diplomatic ne negotiations, it contained no threat or hint of war or of armed attack. Due to RAF's heavy losses, the British battleship Pierce of Wales and Repulse were attacked and sunk of the northeastern coasts of Malaya by Japanese aircraft flying from occupied France into China. Indochina. I'm always a little bit freaked out by those, especially when they're that loud. Wait here for ten minutes. Thank God we have time compression. Because God, this would be the most boring job in the universe if we didn't.
I could make it there on battery power alone if I wanted to. But it would take a while. This guy will probably spot us. Yes. How's it going, buddy? This guy's like really intense, man. Super intense. Fourteen hundred feet. I just always stay on the bridge when we dive because I'm just that cool. <laughs> totally griefing, but whatever. The more you know. I'm an invincible submarine captain. I suppose that's one thing they can't simulate. They can't simulate You dying. You're like the only guy who can't die unless the submarine dies. And then you can die. But everyone else can die. You can die. You can die. You could die. You could die. Is there anyone back here? This guy could die. This guy and that guy and that guy. And then, well, we can't go up there. That's right. We're underwater. Right, we're getting bombed. Okay, speed up time. Stop fooling around. Have we mentioned that there's like things you can do? No, there isn't. Well, actually, there is. But I'm not going to do them right now. Another one. Can we just like get a break? No. Yes, sir. Oh, if you click on the fans, you go silent. To silent running. Okay, he's gone. You know, it would be interesting if, like, if they were off the coast. It was like, oh, they're off the coast. They can stay out there for longer. 
So you could be out here and then all of a sudden... Yes. What do you call it? You know, whatever. It's probably gone at this point, right? Let's just do it. What? We actually spotted something. Where? Bearing 313. Bearing 312. I don't see anything. Oh, I see him. It's just the mast. It looks like it's a fisher. Yes, sir. No course. I have a new tactic for these guys. Yep. That's pretty much exactly what I thought he was. Yes, sir. New course. Three, two, five. Yes, sir. New course. Three, two, nine. There's no airplanes yes, around sir. or anything like New that. Course. Three, four, zero. That would suck. Just in case, though. Oh, man. So my new tactic for these guys is not to waste cannon ammo on them, because I found out yes, sir. if you ram these ships, <laughs> you don't take any damage. Du, 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 du. 
this ship is not as fast as a Gato. Yes, sir. New course. Three, four, yes, zero. New course. Let's see how much damage we can do. Flank speed. Terrorize the Japanese. In real life, we would uh, probably force these guys to abandon their ship and then blow the ship up. But this isn't real life. And blowing up is just so boring. When you can do that. And as you can see, I take no damage. Zero. Nothing. So you can just ram these guys all day. Although I suppose you don't get any, yeah. <laughs> so I guess you have to shoot them once and then, then you got something. All right, ready? let's turn in now. I'm going to save my game. For YouTube game. And we're gonna go in here. And if we get shot at or see a land we're unit, teleport. we're gonna die. Which we have a thin layer of fog, it looks like. No fog, never mind. There's no fog cover. Because there seems to be no land units, so I guess we're safe ish. Looks like it. Can just mosey on in. Let's go full speed though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we can get in and out quickly. Maybe even flank. Yes, sir. No one's shooting at us, it looks like. You'd start to see little splashes of shots if they were shooting at us. Definitely have to use time compression with this game. It's only allowing me to go for because we're so close to the bottom now. 51 feet. Plus 17. That's enough to dive in. I think if I just stop zone at this point, yeah. Yes, sir. Just launch the boat.
That was pro. <laughs> Smooth moves. Yes, sir. New course. One, nine, get four. New course. One, nine, four. Okay, we shall exit this area. After yes, Tech I think no. Yeah, I guess TMO fixed that. that stupid bug where you launch the boat and you'd like instantly destroy it. Okay, we're back off out to sea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go flank speed. Yes, sir. So we successfully delivered the supplies, and now we're out of here. Look at these split. Only took probably 20 minutes. <laughs> Should uh, get new orders. New message received. Okay. Is that away? Flooding search kind of pattern. Search pattern like before. Returning to course, sir. Returning to course, sir. Flooding search pattern. Flooding search pattern. For a pretty long time. Flooding search pattern. Pretty Returning to course, sir. Pattern. I suppose there's no real reason to be going. Yes, Actually, I want to get out of here, so... I'll take that back.
Oh my gosh. Whoops. Well, I suppose I should have waited a whole ten minutes. coming back around. That's a duke out with... Yeah, he's going home. Okay. So wait until the target is... He's out of visual range. Okay, time to save. For you two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here and pick it up uh, later. So, see ya.